shine bright like a diamond in space. Astronomers may have finally figured out the decades-old mystery of certain glowing regions in our galaxy. Nanodiamonds, faint microwave lights known as anomalous microwave emissions, or AME, were first spotted in the Milky Way 20 years ago. Infrared light emitting polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons were initially thought to be responsible, but not all systems with PAH clouds had an AME glow. Using the Green Bank Telescope and the Australia Telescope Compact Array, a new study noticed AME coming from three newborn star systems, all of which were surrounded by diamond dust. The light is believed to result from the rapidly spinning nano-diamond particles producing a dipole moment and emitting electromagnetic radiation in the microwave range. Apart from being both unexpected and cool, scientists suggest the findings can shed light on the chemical signatures of early solar systems, with implications on how ours looked right after the Big Bang. The Mysteries of Space Are there aliens on Titan? New research suggests that Saturn's moon Titan may contain the key elements of life. Using data from NASA's Cassini satellite, one study found that Titan's upper atmosphere is home to carbon chain anions. These serve as a stepping stone to more labyrinthine molecules that can develop life. Separately, another study found vinyl cyanide in Titan's atmosphere. Scientists speculate that this forms the outer wall of a cell and protects the biochemistry that takes place within. Titan's atmosphere is one of the most complex observed by astronomers, and these studies further bolster the idea the moon may be home to organic life. Aliens think we're a zoo, apparently. A 1973 theory regarding contact with the little green men is making headlines this week. MIT radio astronomer John Ball reckons that aliens aren't interested in Snapchatting with us because they don't want to hinder our evolution as a species a.k.a. zoo theory. Basically, Ball reckons that all advanced alien civilizations abide by a space code, whereby they don't intercede with Earth until we're developed enough, or never. Apparently, there are also intergalactic germaphobes. Interaction with us may end up with them getting a gnarly cosmic infection, and that runs contrary to everything Hollywood. So, screenwriters writing yet another factory blockbuster featuring evil aliens may want to think twice before stereotyping an entire alien species as the villain. Hashtag not all aliens. Zombie satellite found by amateur stargazer. A zombie was found in space last weekend. A zombie satellite, that is. Scott Tilly received a signal from a spacecraft number 2000-017A-26113. That's NASA's missing image satellite. After being launched in 2000 by the space agency, the satellite was thought to be long gone after scientists lost contact with it in 2005. The satellite was sent into space to investigate Earth's magnetosphere, the space around our planet controlled by our planetary magnetic field. NASA is now reportedly working around the clock with old software in a bid to communicate with the zombie satellite. Maybe John Constantine can help. Light bursts seen on Earth finally explained. And no, it's not aliens. It was astronomer Carl Sagan who first noticed flashes of light on our home planet back in 1993. But the mystery of what they were would not be cracked until 24 years later. A NASA camera about a million miles from Earth has been capturing strange light bursts reflecting off the planet's surface, appearing both over land and water. Researchers found more than 800 glints in images taken from the Discover spacecraft between June 2015 and August 2016, and theorized they were caused by reflected sunlight. The bursts were limited to certain spots, where the angle between the Sun and Earth is the same as the angle between Earth and the spacecraft, allowing the reflected light to be picked up. The source of the reflection appeared to be ice crystals in high-altitude cirrus clouds, Sunlight would bounce off horizontally oriented particles and create the bright flashes. With that mystery solved, the researchers are now looking to study the ice crystals in hopes of determining whether they have an impact on how much light passes through the atmosphere. What's hiding on the dark side of Venus? For the first time ever, scientists are studying Venus's mysterious night side and have found that it's vastly different from its day side. It takes Venus 225 days to revolve around the Sun, and 243 days to fully rotate on its axis. 
As a result, night and day on the planet last longer than on Earth. So far, the day side has been studied extensively, but the night side has been notoriously difficult to observe until now. Venus's atmosphere consists of strong winds blowing 60 times faster than the planet's rotation. This super rotation has been assumed to be uniform in both sides, but new data shows the winds are more chaotic and irregular on the night side. Night side clouds formed large, wavy, filament-like patterns, not seen in day clouds, and are dominated by stationary waves, which remain still and do not move with the atmosphere. Stationary waves are thought to form specifically over steep mountainous areas, but were recently detected in the planet's southern hemisphere, an area with low elevation. The waves were likewise assumed to be rising up through the cloud from the surface, but were mysteriously missing from the lower and intermediate cloud levels. Scientists have yet to explore what this means, but will likely need to come up with new, updated models of Venus to help them figure it out. Now, where did that come from? Something somewhere in deep space just sent out the fastest radio burst on record. Trouble is, we don't know what its origin is. The strongest ever fast radio burst ever recorded by astronomers hit Earth earlier this month. Scientists say signal FRB 180309 was heard on March 9th. Its signal-to-noise ratio was four times larger than the previous strongest signal. Astronomers don't know what it is, but some speculate it could be anything from stars colliding to interstellar travel. What do you think it was?